Hey, good crafty Sunday morning, friends. It's Rena, and I have a design team project for saw crafters today. And you're looking at it, and you're going, it's a teapot. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's not a teapot. It is, ta-da, a coffee pot. I use the Heartfelt Creations paper line. I absolutely love the blues and browns. Love the whole thing. I'm not a coffee drinker, just so you know, but I loved it so much that I created this mini and while I was working on it, I went to Heartfelt Creations and ordered another pad. So, I love it. So I started out with the, um, the teapot shape, obviously. And um, let me start on the front. It's hard to show. Let me move my camera back just a bit. Don't want it to fall off the table. Um, this is actually a design piece from one of the full sheets of paper and I fussy cut that out I just added the pearls around and it comes with this coffee cup But this coffee cup was separate and I cut this out of a different piece of paper and I layered this one on top so it is um, Dimensional and then I just um, made a couple of bows with my Zutter Bow It All, layered those, and I added this gorgeous um, bling from the DIY Boutique Supply. Super beautiful um, bow, and you guys should go check out her store too. Um, so I used this ribbon, you know, I just tied a bunch of ribbon on as my binding, and I used this super cute, um, I don't know what's this called, um, um, it's like what you, um, oh gosh, why am I, this is escaping me, you know, it's for the baby's diaper, um, it's not a clothespin, <laughs> it's a safety pin, um, and all these cute little rings to dangle stuff from, so I dangled lots of stuff, and I punched out some little coffee cups from the collection, and um, put it on this really cool um, metal um, piece. And then I um, used my glass. <laughs> Gosh, I'm really, I'm, it's too early in the morning, I suppose. So you can see that coffee cup. And then look at that, a little coffee cup charm. I love it. And the word love and a heart with other little hearts dangling from it. Another little heart here, another coffee cup, and a butterfly. And then, <clears throat> let's see if we can see the other side. On this side, we have another coffee cup, and this one has coffee beans. So, yeah, super cute. This is the back. It says, Simple Pleasures. And that little voice in the background is Rihanna. Yes, I asked her if she could be quiet for five minutes while I made this video. And she said yes. <laughs> but she's not. <laughs> it's alright. So, you open it up. And this is the first page. I just super love the blues and browns. And I love the brown wood pieces from Saw Crafters. So this is one of her gorgeous wood hearts. Rihanna, remember? And underneath this heart is a wooden heart, but I had this really pretty bling piece from the DIY Boutique Supply and I added it there. Um, so I created a, um, a clear acetate pocket. I'm finding some glue strings here. <laughs> and this pulls out and you can see how great those papers are just amazing so this opens up like this and there's room for six photos I love these papers I guess and you probably figured that out by now and you know I fussy cut the sentiment and I fussy cut the little coffee cup I just love it then on the next page, um, I have one of Saw's, her other teapots that is 
not a teapot in this collection. It's a coffee pot. I think you're getting the picture and a little coffee cup. Um, I had some real pretty blues um, trims in my stash from a wedding album I did last year. And this opens up like this. And it says warms the soul inside and out. And then opens like this. I just love this paper. <laughs> and then back here has two um, pull-out tags. And you could journal on those and put a photo on the back. And because I can't move on until I put these in, there we go. So then that closes up. Oh, no, nope, closes up like this. And everything's magnetized. So my next page is this cool page, and this is a cutout from one of the full 12 by 12 sheets. And it says, Coffee and You, my favorite way to start the day. Combination, pick me up, way to chill. Combination, pick me up, way to chill. <laughs> okay. Um, so here is one of Saw's really super cute little hot air balloons. I just love these, and they come with different shapes um, inside. And I obviously pick the hearts um, I fussy cut this piece here this is one of saws XO's and a little bling from the DIY then I fussy cut the two coffee cups and the spoon and everything is popped up and dimensional there and this pulls out I fussy cut a spoon and that is dimensional and then this opens up like that the moment in the moment relaxation in every sip there's the back and then when you tuck that in this dimensional spoon still sticks out on the side there and then at the bottom of every um, coffee pot I have some pretty trim there's this one so on this page I knew that was gonna happen sorry guys this page and the sun's really starting to come out so I need to hurry um, I used one of Saw's corner pieces and a gorgeous bling from the DIY and just love this paper what I did on this one was I have a colored image <laughs> you can put your photo down and this is just like a border trim that'll be over your photo so I thought that was kind of cool and this opens up like this and there's the little coffee cup you can put your tag and your photo can go behind the coffee cup and this is the smaller version of what's on the front of the album and then there are two pull-out tags and this one has saws wood pieces and this also well maybe not yeah a little bit your photo can go underneath there and then um, this one's got one of Saw's pretty scrolly pieces. And then I just layered the, the spoon on top. I thought that was cute to stir the coffee with. And this is kind of a belly band page. Um, I fussy cut this out of one of the full size sheets and I, um, this is my stopper right here, my trim at the bottom. So when you pull this out, it's got this real pretty wood piece from Saw Crafters. It does have a heart underneath it, and I have this gorgeous heart from the DIY Boutique Supply, and I just went ahead and adhered that on there so it looks real blingy and pretty. And then this opens up. Room for photos there. To pull out journaling tags and another one of the great coffee cups from the collection. So there's that page and here we go here. I really love this page. <clears throat> I really love them all, but I love this gorgeous piece from Saw Crafters up at the top. And I actually, there was a couple of little scrolly pieces right here and I just broke those off on purpose because I didn't want whoever gets this album 
to have, they, they were a little bit delicate. Now, if you laid them on a flat piece, that would be okay, but this is gonna be open and closed. And so, um, you know, the wood is nice and sturdy, but also if you want to alter it a bit, you can. So I added another very gorgeous bling piece and this opens up. So there's room for two photos and then this opens like this gatefold style and you've got a little tag here and a little tag over here life simple pleasures I love you a latte <laughs> um, and then this says um, you are the flavor to my coffee whipped cream to my mocha sugar to my latte and then this tag pulls out the perfect blend coffee with a friend and a place for a photo on. You can put a photo on either side of that if you wanted to. Everything again is magnetized. And then our last two pages, I have another acetate pocket page. And let me pull this out. And you can see that this tag is permanent on the front. And this is my beautiful bling on this page from the DIY Boutique Supply fussy cut from the paper collection and this teapot also turned into a coffee pot then I have this pull out and it opens like this and it's kind of cool it's different you can put a larger photo here smaller in the middle we've got a, a pull out tag right here with one of Saw's little cute little coffee cups with a heart. Love it. Those were um, inspired by Kim Kimberly Murray, I think, um, asked Saw to make those. And this one over here has a larger, like a Starbucks coffee cup and a pull-out tag. And then the other side is like this. So when that goes back in, it goes at an angle so that your coffee cups are up at the top and they're not interfering with the pocket. Hold on. Then the last, this is my last page and this is kind of a unique page too. I've got this really cute little um, wooden mailbox. It says love with a heart and that's from Saw Crafters. And this says, I like my sugar with coffee and cream. Now, I'm not, I'm trying to figure out, yep, this is how it opens. Okay, it opens like this. And there's a tag back in the back. And then this opens also with a tag back here. So it opens like that. So you've got room for whole bunch of stuff there and look at that beautiful center I love it I just love it and again magnetized and then you've got two tags back here a large one and this one and they just tuck back behind I had so much fun making this and I forgot to mention I did um, distress all the edges with um, Vintage Photo to make it look more coffee-esque. <laughs> so there you go. That is my coffee pot design team project for this week for Saw Crafters. I hope you um, enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. I will be offering this mini album for sale. Um, I'd like to get $100 shipped. Let me know if you're interested. Thanks for watching. I will link Saw Crafters in the description box down below. Um, and I hope you'll check out my friend's store, the DIY Boutique Supply, for her gorgeous bling as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Happy Scrappy Day. Bye.